We've all traveled by trains for so many years, but when I asked people what is the exact shape of a train wheel, almost everyone gave the wrong answer. So, what is the shape of a train wheel? Actually, train wheels are shaped a bit differently. So, this is preventing accidents and saving us lakhs of money. Come on, let's go figure it out ourselves. What do you think is the shape of a train wheel? Circle. Circular shape. I think circle. Circular shape. Yes. Okay. Obviously, it will be circle, round shape. Circle. Circle. Circle only. I think circular. I think conical. Conical shape. Are you sure? This is a train wheel. So before we understand how it works, we'll have to know how a car travels in a curved path. When it turns left, the left wheel has to cover a shorter distance, while the right wheel has to cover a longer distance. If both wheels have to cover their respective distances in the same time, then the left wheel must rotate slower, while the right wheel must rotate faster. The front wheels can manage this easily because they are not rigidly connected. They can rotate independently, but the rear wheels are connected to the same axle. If both try to spin at the same speed, the wheels would either skid or worse, the axle could break and cause an accident. To solve this, cars have a special mechanism called a differential. The differential helps to split the engine's power to both the rear wheels. So both the rear wheels can rotate at different speeds, helping the car make a smooth turn. So we have made a dedicated video on differential, guys. The link is somewhere over here. Do check it out. Just like cars rear wheels, train wheels are also connected by an axle. Trains mostly move straight at higher speeds, so they don't take sharp turns like cars do. So instead of using expensive differentials, scientists came up with a smarter solution. What they did to just change the shape of the train wheels. And what is that shape? Remember when we asked public the shape of train wheels, they thought it would be purely circular like car wheels. But train wheels are slightly conical. Now let's see how this solves the problem with an experiment. I have two wheels here. A cylindrical wheel just like a car's wheel and a semi-conical wheel like a train's wheel. Now let's place both these wheels on a curved track and let's see what happens. The cylindrical wheel, it rotates at the same speed on both sides. So when turning, it slips and comes off track. The semi-conical wheel, it stays on track. Why? Because of the difference in diameters. When a train turns left, the wheel shifts slightly to the right on the rail. That means, on the right side, the wheel rolls on a larger diameter and on the left side, on a smaller diameter. The smaller diameter wheel of the left covers the shorter distance and the larger diameter wheel on the right covers the longer distance, perfectly balanced. This way, the train completes the turn without skidding, without slipping and without needing a differential. Isn't that brilliant? Such a massive problem solved by a clever design of changing the shape. Bye guys!